Generative AI, or Gen AI for short, is a rapidly developing new technology which promises all kinds of possibilities. But have you tried it out for yourself yet? For those curious about how it works, Rack10 Viber is providing free and easy access to this technology in the form of a super handy chatbot. The bot was released globally in English in February 2023 under the name AI Chat and Create and has since evolved to be called Chat GPT Powered AI Bot, with a Japanese language version, Viber AI Chat, also available since May. It has two Gen AI functions, a chat function powered by OpenAI's Chat GPT 3.5 Turbo to have a conversation about anything you'd like, and an image generation function powered by OpenAI's DAL E2 Image Diffusion Model to create images based on entered text prompts. We spoke to the project leader about the strategy behind its creation. It was quite a bit of a hype around AI uh, end of last year, beginning of the year. So we thought that it would make sense to bring this to our hundreds of millions of active users. We just wanted to introduce uh, the topic, see how it works, see how it's being perceived by our audience, and then improve um, as, as we go. So essentially building it towards a very well-rounded AI-driven solution on Viber. Usually companies that introduce AI to their, uh, to their tech or to their product, it's focused on one experience. What we do a little bit differently is that we, we try to make sure that the users, A, know how to find it very easily on the platform, B, know how to use it in the sense of really to just bring something useful for their everyday life cooking recipes, the AI bot can help you. Want to do a workout, the AI turns into your personal trainer. So essentially, we created the chat bot in a way that it works as your personal assistant. We also spoke to the bot's technical product manager about the technical challenges involved. So we encountered two main technical challenges during the development process. Uh, firstly, we wanted to ensure that AI appeared as natural as possible and reduce complexity for end users, enabling them quickly and easily interact with the bot. So we created a simple user interface that, was, that showcased the bot functionalities and provided welcome messages explaining the, its capabilities. Additionally, we included examples of images uh, and their corresponding prompts to guide users. And by providing these Examples, we aim to bridge the gap between technical complexities and user-friendly interactions. The second challenge was related to maintaining the context of the conversation. Since OpenAI doesn't really support conversation mobilization, each request is treated as a new conversation. So to overcome this limitation, what we do is we did is implementing a solution where we sent the last several messages of the conversation along with the new text prompt of the user and to the OpenAI model. And by including the conversation context, the AI model could respond in a way that co uh, considered um, the ongoing conversation and ensuring continuity and coherence. If you're an AI chat novice like me though, I'm sure you'd be grateful for some usage tips. And who better to ask than the creation team? I guess this really connects to your personal interests, right? Like I'm a huge foodie, so I love trying out new food. So when I uh, think about where to go, you know, on the weekend or in the, in the, in the weekdays for a lovely dinner or lovely lunch, Basically, I ask the bots to give me um, some ideas, give me some feedback, and it's actually working pretty well. I know that you would say, oh, but what's the difference between Google? Well, the good thing is that you can actually input different um, needs or different limitations of that search that you have in mind for a restaurant. Might it be location preference or even um, the type of venue? So all of those kind of needs are matched Um if you input it correctly, and then the chatbot is going to offer you the best solutions. I would say uh, my best kind of advice to users would be to just be very playful with it, just be very creative and open-minded, and think about ways that can actually bring value to your life. So I actually use it very extensively in various aspects of my life, uh, from sending email to correcting my language in other languages, like when I'm texting with people. Uh, from different countries and also traveling. I'm actually going to travel uh, to 
Berlin and I like asked his suggestions to where I should go, what I should do in in a context of uh of the LGBT um Pride Month in Berlin. And it worked really good and gave us really good places to visit and and uh, try during the vacation. So this is, was really nice. So if you're not a user already, why not try out Viber's AI personal assistant yourself? And let us know about your own usage experience. Viber has also just announced the release of a companion AI bot in collaboration with Iconic, creator of Kuki, the award-winning AI brain, which promises to bring the concept of conversational AI to a new level, with longer conversations and more open-ended exchanges. As well as AI-powered bots, watch this space for more AI-related developments across Rakuten.